Hey guys, this is Neil Bobs with Medscape Medical Students The Differential, and today we'll be talking about working in the clinic with little clinical experience. Before medical school, I never really had many opportunities to work as an EMT or a scribe, so here's my take on working in the clinic without the pre-made skills that brought you to medical school. So what's the clinic like in my school? It's a team of four to six students, usually two fourth years or a third year student and two preclinical students, so the second year or first year student. And we have the upperclassmen guide us and we're often presented with each case every Tuesday or Thursday. Each case we bring up to one attending physician who oversees pretty much everything we're doing. There's around th three teams every Tuesday or Thursday. And at the end of the day, the physician advises us on an appropriate route and we move forward from there depending on what we're prescribing or any other specialist that the patient might have to see. So for me personally, I had a patient who spoke no English and there were two peers with me that were both underclassmen that were fluent in Spanish. And then we had two upperclassmen who did most of the medical examining, which left me feeling a little hard to utilize. Having five people there, two people with a purpose of really translating dialogue and the other two doing all the medical examining, I felt like there was really nothing I could do, especially since I didn't have any other skills. The experience itself, however, was enlightening. Seeing a patient come take charge of the healthcare, come to the free clinic, spend hours with medical students who are learning for their benefit while helping this patient was really eye-opening. Even though I sat there for most of the two or three hours we were there, it was a new patient, we were helping her with her condition. It was interesting to see the exchange of dialogue. It was interesting to see how the medical exchange was happening. So if you're a medical student that doesn't really have the EMT experience, that doesn't really have the scribing experience, you really should not feel left out in a medical setting. Even though we do learn in the OSCEs how to utilize the clinical skills, we're mostly studying. So unless you're practicing on your parents every other day or other people who probably don't want to be practiced on, like your friends, you really don't have the opportunity to, to excel at those skills, at least I didn't. And coming to the clinic though, I was given the opportunity to practice these skills, but I was also able to see people who are good at these skills use them. And seeing the fourth years and the third years kind of just take charge really inspired me to know that I'm going in that direction. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, maybe I have 10 more exams in between that. But it was inspiring to know that down the line, I will be skilled at using these instruments and helping someone actually diagnose them and really giving them the proper tools to a better life. Now, should you go to the clinic and try out these skills? Definitely. But don't feel less than if you have peers who have these clinical experiences. Learn from them. There are a lot of people out there who have been EMTs, who have been PAs, who have been even pharmacists and coming to medical school. Ask them for advice, ask them for some wisdom. They're your friends, but they're also your mentors at times. And that's something that I kind of got away from going to the clinic every Tuesday and Thursday, meeting the third years, meeting the fourth years, meeting people who were professionals before coming to medical school. So again, my name is Neil. I did not have much clinical experience before medical school. I was, I, I did see a physician, I did shadow, I did observe, but it only ignited my passion to go to medical school. It didn't really teach me much. So when you're in the clinic, definitely ask people for advice, look for mentors there. They could be upperclassmen or they could be in your class. Everyone around you has an interesting story. Everyone around you has done something different to get where they are. And I think it's very valuable to just look to your peers or look to your mentors for tips on how to move forward. And don't forget, at the end of the day, you're gonna be a doctor. You're gonna be someone who takes care of people. And it seems tough right now, but it's this motivation that I have and this vision that I've been given after looking at the third and fourth year students of myself that kind of pushes me forward. So this is Neil Bobser with Medscape Medical Students The Differential. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, definitely leave them below. If you found this video interesting, definitely share it. Again, go back to Medscape if you want more references. Check out the console app if you want to learn more about clinical things. But uh, other than that, see you next time.